Hey, what's up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. Today, we are at John Zink Park for a little 1v2 action. Kinda. Let's get over a whole one and I'll get into it. Perfect. All right, so a little over a month ago, a couple of fellow YouTubers here in Tulsa, Tyler Nolega and Carrie Strizzle, came out to the course to play best shot doubles and shot 11 down. So today, we're gonna try to beat that. But if I'm unable to do so, there is a bit of a punishment on the line. For each stroke off the 11 under par, I have to do 100 putts from 30 feet on a live stream, which will be over on my Instagram. I'll link that down in the description below. All right, but getting right into hole one, we have a 309 foot par three. Only OB to speak of is this highway that runs along this left side of the, of the hole. We're gonna go with our Nordic Phenom 2, put it on a little bit of hyzer. We have a bit of a headwind, so I want it to kind of flip up to flat and then coast towards the basket. That's not gonna flip enough. But that tree is about pin high, so we should have a putt. Something I love about filming these videos is the sense of like the need to perform or at least entertain. So I like it's just been a lot of fun making these videos for you guys. Speaking of entertaining, watch this. There. But hey, we're starting off with the par. We'll move on to the next one, no big deal. All right, hole two is gonna be blind off the tee. It's 305 feet. You see those two trees that kind of make a gap up there? The one that's on the left, the basket's pretty much right behind that. So if you can get to that, usually in good shape for a putt. I'm gonna go quake. Now we have a left to right, it's, it, it's, it's swirling out here. I might be good. Fade, fade. I think I'm just in front of that tree, but if I got left enough, I should have a putt. Really need this putt to get on the board. All right, we're two holes in. Comment down below what you think the amount of uh, putts I'm gonna have to do from 30 feet is. All right, well, that was certainly embarrassing, but here we are on hole three, 262 foot par three. We're gonna go back to the quake and just try to put it on some hyzer underneath the tree. Should be good. Get underneath the branches. Well, just like my last video, that might be tester range today, and I don't like that. Oh boy, it's in, but it wasn't great. So, uh, hey, we're on the board though. We're on the board, one down. All right, not where I wanna be, but one down through three. Hole four, 200 feet, right through this gap. Uh, no OB to speak of on this hole. So we're gonna go zone on a forehand, try to flick it up through the middle. Well, that's the middle of something. It wasn't my intended line, but we're up there. Ah, perfectly in tester range with the headwind. What I love. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? You know what? We'll get over it. But I do have a question for you guys. So, I don't know about you guys, but when the weather starts to warm up, I am horrible about getting myself hydrated and keeping myself hydrated. I don't know what it is, but when I'm playing in the winter time, and like it's not to the point where I'm sweating, I just don't think to drink. And then it's like that habit like continues into the warmer months. It's getting ready to be 90 today. I've taken like two sips of water and I'm feeling it. So I don't know, maybe I'm weird. If not, and you do the same thing. I'd love to know, comment down below. But here we have hole five, 324 foot par three. Only thing to worry about is the mando that's on the right. So you can't take just a big hyzer. I don't know why you go that way right now. Anyway, with the grass being as tall as it is, we're gonna go Vanguard up the middle and have it fight some of this crosswind. Stay in the air and it should be really good. All right, you love walking up to a drive that's absolutely positively parked. Two down, going into six. All right, hole six, par three, 184 feet, no OB to speak of. Not really a great spot for the camera, so bear with me again. But you should be able to see it right behind the tree up there. We're gonna go AVR3, just play a hyzer around it. It really plays like an upshot. Should be good, drop. And I think we're parked. All right, two in a row, can we make it three? All right, hole seven, definitely feeling a gobble gobble opportunity here. 321 feet, there is a creek that plays OB. So you just gotta get over that. We have a, it was the wind swirling. So we have like a slight, like left to right tail cross. We're gonna disc up and we're gonna go just spike hyzer over the top, going emperor. Oh, that's, 
I don't know if I feel the gobble gobble anymore. It's not out of bounds, but it's not in a good spot either. Need to make this so that I have four more holes I can miss. Though if this was one of the misses, I wouldn't feel too bad about it. Pretty horrible shot off the tee. I'm being violated over here by everything. Hole eight, a hole that strikes fear into most mortal men, except for Kerry Strizzle, who threw an amazing shot on this hole. Oh, 214 feet, double Mando. Just gotta get it right out there. We're gonna go zone. Yeah. Looks like a tap into me. If I wanna beat this challenge, I gotta get confident. And there's only one way to achieve that confidence. That's right. Backwards hat Jacob's back. You know, I'm starting to think that they just don't want this course filmed. Another hole where it's hard to get a good camera angle because we have a giant dead tree surrounded by random brush and weed. But anyways, here we have hole nine, 284 feet right out there, par three. The only OB to speak of is what it says on the T sign, which is surrounded by water on the creek on the left. We're gonna go MD3. Now fade. That is, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It looks incredibly short, but it could be very good. And very good it is. A little tap in here to get me to five down on the front nine. You know, I'm starting to think I shouldn't have said that. At this point, my only hope is that you guys are getting some enjoyment out of me missing like every 10 foot putt possible. Hole 10 and the start of the back nine, 291 feet, par three. Plays right out there. There is no OB to speak of. Again, we're gonna go back to the MD3. Helpful win this time, so hopefully we can put it a little closer because apparently I need to do that. Just stay straight. Okay. It's looking like another 10 foot putt. We're not gonna say anything. We're just gonna go putt it. I'm glad I took all the time I needed on that one. It was still left side. Well, bad news first. I only have two more holes I can miss and still be able to hit the line. Good news is pretty much all the rest of the holes are like this one. 198 feet, par three, right in your face. Throw what you want, get up and down, take your birdie, move on. Almost forgot to mention we're gonna go AVR3 here. I has a chance to ace. Go in the basket. Oh, or go like 30 feet deep. Okay, I may have exaggerated a little bit. This is more like 15 feet, but everything feels extremely long today. So, put this one in. I have no words to describe the pain I'm feeling right now. Anyways, hole 12, par three, 325 feet. Only thing to miss is the Mando on the right-hand side. Ideally, you'd like a little bit of a skip to the left. It does play a little bit uh, like a dog leg at the end. Not super far. So we're gonna go with our stupid overstable boss, put on a little flex, and see if we can get it close, because we need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, and a little skip. It might, it might be in a good spot, it might be a little deep, I don't know. We'll see when we get up there. Hopefully you guys got to see the end of that flight and see how much of a unit this disc is. It's stupid overstable. Here we are on hole 13, 234 foot par three. Again, another just wide open hole. For those that are following along, I still have one hole that I can miss, unless I was to get an ace. That would be absolutely massive for my confidence. But we're gonna go zone off the tee here and put it as close as we can. That's not gonna be close. That is, I'm exaggerating. Guys, you have to bear with me because today is just like the anti-confidence Jacob. I don't know where he's come from, but he needs to leave immediately. So this one is definitely as far as it looks, probably about 25 feet. Need this so I can still have one to miss. And there's one hole in particular that I really like that on. Oh, oh I gotta hug the basket for that one. Thank you, thank you so much, 13. Okay, still one hole to miss. Hole 14, 265 feet, right behind the trees up there. You should be able to see it. Have the camera across the street because it plays right next to the road. We're gonna go MD3. Fight out of it. And park the basket, please. 
please. Okay, I think that's good enough. One thing I can say is this MD3 is absolutely putting in work today. It's not its fault that I can't putt, but it's getting me as close to the basket as it can. Closing in on the last four holes and we still have one hole we can miss. This is not one of them. If I'm able to shoot 12 down and birdie out from here, I honestly think that uh, Tyler and Carrie need to hop on a live stream and do 200 putts from 30 feet. I think that's only fair. But here we have hole 15, 297 foot par three, only OB to speak of is the road behind it. We're gonna go Quake. And sit. Oh, oh, I got close to acing, honestly. I think that's like a 10 footer. Now, this is honestly what you wanna see going into the last three holes. One more birdie. The next hole is the one that I've questioned since I've been here. All right, and here we have probably the hardest hole out here, hole 16, 365 feet, par three, only OB is gonna be this path in front and the creek behind. We're gonna go Emperor and see if we can put it close. Stay in the air. This honestly got way further up here than I thought it did and would be massive to have still one hole to miss with two to play. So we're gonna go for it. A little lofty bid. The creek plays pretty close behind it though. Did I do it? Oh God, sit down. Hole 17, 190 foot chip shot forehand, OB Creek in the middle. We're gonna go zone. And settle into the basket. Yeah. That's how you draw it up, folks. That's how you draw it up. Okay, before we get into hole 18, I gotta show you guys something. Look at just how many people whooped this hippos. I mean, he's screaming in agony. And then you have the rhino over here with true despair in his eyes. And it all comes down to this. Hole 18, 213 feet, par three, plays right out there. This is the only thing preventing me from having to do at least 100 putts of punishment. So, we're gonna go MD3, straight at it. Put it as close as possible, because God knows we can't putt today. And uh, go home. Oh, please don't go super far though. Okay, I think, I think we're in range for like a 15 footer. Stay tuned. All right, 15 footer confirmed to keep me from having to do a punishment stream. There's honestly more pressure on this putt than when I won my tournament last weekend. Oh my goodness. All right, well that confirms it. Tyler and Carrie are clearly the better disc golfers and uh, Honestly, I can't even think of 100 putts as a punishment, mostly because I need to do it, apparently. I don't think today could have gone any worse. Yeah, that's, that's actually my thoughts. I'll go ahead and pop on the screen when I'll be doing the live stream down below. Be sure to give me a follow on Instagram so you're notified when I do go live. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.